Floyd Chivambu leaves the EFF. I've decided not to renew the membership of the EFF because I will join and participate in Umkonto as a party. I am not going to speak here in Winamatikiz and Mandela House as to what is the basis of that because that will be tantamount to campaigning already for Mkonto as a party. So I'm going to be actively involved in Mkonto as a party uh, and shape uh, its direction and the politics that are obtaining today in South Africa. Nobody saw this coming. This is boiling hot and very emotional. What's up, everybody? I hope you're doing good. It's not a beautiful day, at least not for the EFF. Thank you very much for choosing us again. It was a great pleasure. Okay, so for context, the EFF. This is my name, Julius Malema. I know many of you guys are from America, from the UK, from Jamaica, from all over the world. You follow us and I respect you and I'm very pleased that you're here. Julius Malema, you certainly have heard about this man. Revolutionary man, South African, strong figure, very respectable person. Why? Because Julius Malema wants Africans to come together. He believes the reason why Africa is not moving forward is because Africans are separated. Africans don't work together. Africans hate each other. Julius Malema has fought very hard against xenophobia, against hate for other Africans. Good cause. But it's a good cause that comes with a price. Not everybody likes it. Julius Malema was first initially working with the ANC. The ANC. What is the ANC? The ANC is the political party where comes Nelson Mandela. Remember Mandela? The great man respected man, yes. Nelson Mandela was part of the ANC. Julius Malema also was part of the ANC. At the time, during apartheid, South Africa was a country that was colonized, if you want. That's apartheid. Apartheid keeps black people away from white people. Country was dominated by white people. Black people were perceived like roaches. I'm just being honest with you. No respect, no consideration. And at the time, one of the strongest political parties that united black people in South Africa was called the ANC. And that's where some of the strongest people in South Africa politics come from. Then when in 1994, Mandela came out of jail and for the first time, black people in South Africa took power. ANC was the strongest political party because it brought together all black people. But with time and many things happened, well, the ANC promised a lot of things to black people. They promised a good life, you know, the better life, salaries, jobs, houses, which many blacks did not have during apartheid because they were treated like roaches. I'm just being honest with you. Yes, like cockroaches. Now, when the ANC took power, unfortunately, Many leaders of the ANC were very greedy. They wanted to eat. They wanted to build one house. Not one, but maybe two, maybe three, or maybe four, or maybe six. You know, in the meantime, when you do that, you take away from the poor people who have absolutely nothing under their names. So many black people suffered under the reign of many other black people, meaning the ANC that was supposed to take care of black people fail in that mission. Corruption, poor service delivery, they were gifted tenders to create things for the population and they just used that money for their personal purposes. And that's aggravated many people. And that is when many other political parties were born. Many black people separated from the ANC. Julius Malema was part of the ANC, one of the very strongest, strongest figure of the ANC. At a specific time, he had to leave. When they chased him out of the ANC, he did not leave alone. He left with his good friend, Floyd Chivambu. I'm not shocked or disappointed is because what they are telling us now is what I've been expecting. And their newspaper reported that we are going to be expelled and it became the reality. The newspapers are more informed than members of the ANC, than leaders of the ANC. This is Floyd Chivambu, very strong figure as well. 
one of the best friends of Julius Malema, I believe. Certainly one of the participants. He played a major role in the creation of the EFF. And the EFF, you can see they were red. They had come with brand new ideas, bringing the youth together for a brand new South Africa. The ideology was simple. White people have everything in the country, while black people have minority of the goods of the country. White people in South Africa are minority, but they have the majority of wealth, while black people who are majority have the minority of the good. So the EFF goal was to create an environment where black people will gain more from white people, such as land, taking land back from the white people. Well, in South Africa, white people have the most land than black people. Julius Malema wanted that to be reversed. Now, Julius Malema's vote at some point went really down. They were doing great in the beginning. Really, really good. In the last election, the EFF did not perform as everybody expected. Unfortunately, they had lost a lot of support from many people. Many people believe the reason why the EFF lost support, it's because it felt like Julius Malema was giving more importance to foreigners than he gave to South Africans. How do you explain that? Julius Malema said Africans must come together. There should be a borderless policy, which means all Africans should be able to go to any African country with no issue, meaning most Africans should be able to come to South Africa with no visa, with no passport or whatever, as long as they are legal. I have no time for borders. Why? I have no time for colonialism. When you, how would you say to me, go and change French on the passport and then come at the same time and say, when's the handing my boat? Yeah. Leave the borders alone, but remove French. <laughs> Removing of French on the passport is part of decolonizing South Africa. Yeah. So you can't speak in folk tongues. It has to be very clear. No one is going to come to our country. They, they don't have borders in Europe. But when it comes to us, they say, no, you must have borders. Why? The division of South Af of Africa is what makes them thrive. Well, many South Africans, black South Africans, did not like that policy at all. Because they felt like a lot of people could come from countries they don't necessarily like, such as Zimbabwe, looking for jobs in South Africa, which will make it very difficult for South Africans, black South Africans, already looking for jobs. Many people felt like this would give an opportunity to people from Nigeria. Well, Nigerians are not very liked very much in South Africa, just being honest, because they are accused of doing drugs and doing human trafficking and some illegalities. We are taking our jobs. We are selling us drugs. So many black South Africans oppose that idea. Whilst Malema blatantly said, if you are xenophobic, you can keep your vote. Don't vote for us. In this election, unfortunately, the EFF lost many of its voters. The EFF has its own explanation to why this was the case. But many experts believe the reason why the EFF lost so much thrust because they began to sound like they were fighting more for Africans but South Africans. Now, there was an emergence of a brand new political party named the MK. MK or Mkoto Isizwe, which was previously an armed branch of the ANC. Do you remember the ANC? This is the ANC, the political party of Nelson Mandela. It used to have an armed segment called Nkoto Isizwe. So ex-president Jacob Zuma had had enough of the ANC. He said, enough. I'm going to create my own thing. And that's when the MK party was finally registered as a political party. It gave a lot of people hope that had lost hope in the ANC. They've won many places in the parliament. Now, a few days ago, Floyd Shivambu good friend of Julius Malema, finally decided to make it public. He said he was leaving. I decided not to renew the membership of the EFF because I will join and participate in Umkonto as a party. But what's very telling in this story is that he didn't leave brutally. He made it very official in the nicest way possible. And he also mentioned that it wasn't necessary that they bashed each other. Even though he left the EFF for MK, he still upheld the integrity of the EFF. Now, many people are speculating what could be the reason why Floyd Shivambu decided to leave. Some people are saying uh, the reason why he left is because apparently he had received an offer from very wealthy people offering him 
a lot of good things, as you can imagine, uh, to stand against Julius Malema as a president of the EFF. And that is something they could not consider in EFF. So Floyd Shivambu apparently wanted to be respected, wanted to be given an opportunity to lead. And because he felt like the EFF was not going to give him that opportunity, he decided to leave. Those are speculations. There are other speculations saying that the AMK has offered him something big on the table. And obviously for his own purpose and his own benefit, he decided to jump ship. Obviously, sometimes if you feel undermined in some situation, you may decide to change ships, move ships, go to the other side, see what opportunities are out there for you. Now, Julius Malema made a reaction about this. Julius Malema said he was really, really hurt when he heard about the news. He said the pain was similar to the pain he had when his mom passed away. That is very deep to say, fellas. I stand before you to accept the decision of the deputy president of the EFF who has voluntarily resigned his positions and did not renew his membership. When he sent me a letter yesterday, I felt the same pain when I received the news of the passing away of my mother. Because Floyd, to me, is not just a comrade. Is a brother and he will remain a brother even when he pursues his political career differently. We formed this organization together and I've told him that resigning from the EFF is equal to resigning from himself because this is his organization. Well, there are many speculations. The other one is that Shivamu would have betrayed Malema. And that's a very interesting question in the way that Thomas Sankara was betrayed by Blaise Compaore. Is this true? Has Shivambu betrayed Julius Malema in the most crucial moment possible? Is the EFF completely losing the support of South Africa? And perhaps Shivambu sees that. And maybe he had come forward saying, I've got some ideas. We need to change a few things. And those ideas were rejected. And perhaps that will be the reason why he will say, you know what? If I'm not listened to, maybe I need to go. And then the last one. Some people believe this is a game. They are playing a game. They know exactly what they're doing. And as we know, politics can be very slippery as a science. What do you think the truth is behind this situation? Let me know how you feel about this. It's always a great pleasure. Is Floyd Shivambu really gone for good? Or is this a game they're playing against everybody? God bless.